All right, all my renegades. I want to tell y'all, the reason that I'm so hard on the Young Turks is because they're the largest progressive mouthpiece that we have. And right now, look at what they're doing. They're talking about crazy Giuliani. Who cares? Trump. Trump's gone. He's been gone. He's nothing. All right. But this is what they're not covering. And this is where when you start getting corporate money, this is the things that you don't cover. This is one of the biggest stories that's been on Twitter. And they haven't spoken about it one time. Wall Street. The problem with the Black Rock buying housing mean. This is Wall Street literally buying up all the houses in the country, as many as they can. This is the story that they don't cover, that they should be covering, but they don't. This was on Twitter. This was all over. Most people don't even know who BlackRock is. And look at this. Look. And they, they talk about over the past week, the American political scene has done the unthinkable. It actually paid attention to the forces shaping our housing markets, apparently spurred by a viral tweet that caught the eye of hillbilly elegist and would-be senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance, political conservatives and liberals alike have been gripped with anger about BlackRock, the world's biggest asset manager, buying every single family house they can find distorting prices and locking families out there have been families that have been going to buy houses and the person that was written and have told them that hey there's this company that came in and they're paying double what you're paying so i can't i can't rent it i can't um i can't sell it to you and what that means is that if they're buying up all the homes what that means is that people are going to be permanent renters for the rest of their life it means you'll never own a home. You'll be written from one of these Wall Street goons forever, because you're not written. You, you're not. You're not buying from a bank. You're buying from Wall Street. You're written from Wall Street, and you'll never own it. Okay. And um, let me see. The topic trended on Twitter for better part of a week. Why hasn't the Young Turks? Why haven't they covered this? Instead, they're talking about Trump, who Trump, who has no power, who 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 really only exist in liberal circles. If you're not watching MSNBC, you're not watching uh, T, the, the Young Turks, Trump doesn't exist. He's nobody. He controls nothing. Wow. And, they, and, and this is the stuff that they don't, this is why I stay on them so hard. And they say about liberals and conservatives uh, something, I'm going to put a link to this so y'all can go check it out for yourself. But they say Black Rice Antics, because of its commitments to racial artists, oh, Vance decided that the left wouldn't care about Black Rock's antics because of commitments to racial artists and other diversity bullcrap, bullshit. All right. And that's true because they're using they're using a racial identity politics. And what they're doing is they're using all of that stuff to sidetrack people, to keep them blinded of what they're really doing. And I'm going to leave a link to this because this thing goes on. And um, I don't want to, I want to, I want to get to some other stuff that they're doing. Because, and, and when they say liberals won't care, watch this. Nine fascinating facts. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's a lot and I'm going to leave a link. But three, three of these people, BlackRock is the largest investment manager. Invest, they're the largest investment manager. And guess what? No one even knows about them. They're bigger than Goldman Sachs. Every, more people know about Goldman Sachs, but these people have more money, have more power. And look, they're saying that they're becoming a, this Wall Street player is becoming big in, in Washington. Guess what? Look at this. Look, look. Um, the firm has hired notable policymakers over the years in three Three leaders with the New York-based asset manager on their resumes now hold prominent roles in Joe Biden's cabinet. Guys, this is serious. Joe Biden is not on the side of the people. Joe Biden has Wall Street goons who are buying up all of the houses directly in his cabinet. So guess what? They're going to write policies that benefit them. And Joe Biden was saying he was going to put all of these corporate taxes. He wasn't going to tax the, the, the working people. And if you didn't, well, guess what? That went out the window. 
He's now not going to add corporate tax and all the stuff that he was talking about doing. And now he's saying, well, he's going to figure out some other ways to do the infrastructure bill. Now, you got to stop. TYT, the Young Turks, they're paid opposition. That's why they don't talk about this. They won't tell you this is what's going on. Biden has these these Wall Street maniacs writing laws, lobbyists. These lobbyists in Wall Street are writing laws. And then when we go... When when a when a country when the everyday people go for a bailout they say hey, we don't well we don't have the money can't help you but Elon Musk who's who has a space shuttle company they just gave him ten billion dollars one man gave him ten billion when when the pandemic the whole country they couldn't give the whole country one point nine billion but they gave one man ten billion to go to the moon where we're starving here on Earth who gives a damn about the moon yes. And, and, and to make it even worse, um, Biden, now this is a black guy, uh, he put Andor, I don't even know, Adali, Wally, Adim, whatever the hell his name is, but he's now, uh, he was a former chief of staff at BlackRock, and now he's to serve at the, tr- at the top of the Treasury Department. These guys, look at this. He's got one over the National Economic Council, one over the Treasury Department, Another one is uh right here, Kamala Harris. He's um uh, he's um her economic advisor. Guys, look at this. Economic these, guys, these these aren't economists. If I want if you want somebody for the economy, you should get an economist. Why would you get somebody who's a Wall Street lunatic to be over the tr- secretary? Why would why would they be the, over the track? This is crazy. This is crazy. You know, but this goes to show you. Look, they say Unlike Goldman Sachs, a household brand name who's known for finance, BlackRock isn't well known. They they keep a low key and they destroy things. That's what they do. They say BlackRock controls nine trillion dollars, making it the largest money manager in the world. And nobody knows this. Nobody nobody's doing research. And and somewhere in here, I, I'm I I can't even remember where, but somewhere in this article, they say that um BlackRock is putting people into Biden's cabinet and people who were in government are now going to work for BlackRock. So that means that they're hand in hand now. This is crazy. And BlackRock is one of the biggest asset managers, which means that they have their hands in a lot of almost every major corporation they have investments in. So naturally, every law that they write, them, the lobbyists, the Republicans, the Democrats. See, Democrats and Republicans, that only matters with the voters. The voters are divided. The voters think, oh, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. Within within Congress, they don't they don't they don't operate like that. When they're in front of the TV they say, Oh, Republicans are bad and Demo- and Republicans say, Oh, Democrats are bad. But when they actually making laws, they're sitting behind the doors with these with these investment agents with these uh, Wall Street investment companies Raw, uh, Democrats and Republicans, and that's where they really negotiate things. And it, well, they don't really negotiate. Wall Street just tells them what they want, and Congress goes and pass the pass the laws. That's that's when it that see that's that's when they're bipartisan. When it comes to passing laws for the, for the wealthy, for their donors, for Wall Street, the pharmaceutical agencies, when they want to drop bombs, both sides can both both sides can decide. Hey, yeah, let's drop bombs. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's drop some bombs. Democrats and Republicans, they both can vote on that. People thinking that Joe Biden is going to be the savior. Joe Biden, Joe Biden is more of a maniac than Trump would ever was. Donald Trump was just an idiot who who was he was just a loudmouth idiot who talked too much. Joe Biden is rocking everybody to sleep, and he and and he Joe Biden is part of some of the worst trade deals ever. He was part of out from America to foreign countries for cheap labor. He was part of all of it. He was part of busting up the unions. Joe Biden is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a right wing Republican warmonger. That's who he is. He's 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 not a Democrat at all. He's not. He um, even even Obama. Obama is it's, Obama said that Obama described himself as a conservative. He said Obama, yeah, Obama described himself as a conservative. And it's true because the first thing when Obama got in office, the first thing he did was bailed out Wall Street. In 2008, he did what any Republican would do. He bailed out Wall Street while 
I think over five million people lost their homes. He he bailed out Wall Street. The same people that bankrupted the country, they bailed them out. So they got a double dip. They got bailed out of the mess that they created. And there's so much more. This this video is getting too long. It's already ten minutes. But um and let me see. Uh oh, and this guy, look, he was this guy, Deese, he was previously a senior advisor to President Obama and served as deputy director of the National Economic, uh, Economic Council, right? These were the guys that Obama was asking for advice during the economic meltdown of 2008. He was asking Wall Street, the same people that got us in this mess. And then over the Treasury Department of Office Management, Office of Management and Budget. This is who Joe Biden wanted to put in. Neera Tandon. Neera Tandon is such a disgusting human being that the Democrats and the Republicans both said no. We don't want her in the cabinet. No. No. Both parties said no. She viciously attacked Jimmy Dore and Bernie Sanders. This woman is a Hillary Clinton hitman. That's what she is. She's a vile human being. And she works for the Center for American Progress. It's, just like, it's, it's, a, it's a, a liberal think tank, just like a conservative think tank, where they sit around and they find ways to make and, and come up with ways to screw over the everyday person. And this is the Center for American Progress. You can go check them out. It, it's, it's nothing but a but a bunch of lunatics destroying the country. And even after even after that, look at this. After Neil Rattan is Biden, uh, Biden's former budget chief pick, who nobody wanted. Since she didn't get that job, now she's, where is it? Oh, she's senior advisor to Biden now. Since, since, since the, the, the job that the Congress had to vote on, she, since they voted against it, he just, he put her in a position where he could just put somebody there. Isn't that something? Nobody wants her, so he puts her in a position where he has the power to just put her in there without people having, without Congress having to vote on it. This is sad. This is sad. And everybody's thinking, oh, Joe Biden's going to be the same. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, I told you, man, Joe Biden's been part of the worst trade deals in the, in history. <laughs> Joe, now he's, he's the guy that's supposed to bring jobs back when he's the guy that sent all of the jobs away. Joe Biden, Joe Biden's been lying. He, he said, oh, he, he said, are we going to get $15 an hour? He lied. He didn't give that. He said, we're going to give 2000 He didn't give that. He gave 1400 He said he was going to uh, do something about student debt. Well, even if he didn't wipe it off completely, so far he hasn't done anything. He said that he was gonna uh, he was gonna start doing taxing these corporate and he, and he's wealthy. Now he says, ah, you know what? I, I really can't do it. You know, ah, I, I can't tax him. Now, now that's out the window. Everything this dude has said he was gonna do, he's lied about, and everybody just sleep. And this is and this is the crap TYT's doing, talking about Giuliani, talking about Trump and Joe Biden and the Democrats and the Republicans are burning the country down. And guys, there's so much more to this article about um about BlackRock there's so much more that like I said I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna leave some I'm gonna leave all of this because this video is just it's, I mean it's 13 minutes I didn't want it to be this long but it's just so much and look they say the Federal Reserve the Federal Reserve is, is talking with these people look the financial crisis of 2007 2000 through 2009 you know what they said huh? hey bail them out they picked and choose who they wanted to fail. They let Lehman Brothers, they let these type, oh, let them fail. But Goldman Sachs, go, go, they, they saved Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs' model was, you know, blow up. They, they, they were like, just blow up their shareholders. And, and what I mean by that is literally, like, take people money and basically just screw them. It doesn't matter. It, put, put their money, it, just collect the fees. And if they lose their money, so what? Move to the next sucker. What, what kind, what? What kind of stockbroker? What kind of agent? What kind of investment agency doesn't? This is, and and and, and they allow this, and they allowing this, and and the young Turks, they they don't they're, they're corporate bought, so they don't they don't report on this stuff, they don't they don't report it, you know, they, <laughs> this is crazy, this is crazy, but 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 you can see why I stay angry at them. Look look at the stuff they're reporting on. Twitch. Somebody, why Twitch banned two popular streamers? Who cares? Giuliani, Trump, Tucker Carlson. When this is the real stuff that's going on, Wall Street, Wall Street is trying to make everybody either homeless or a permanent renter. And Joe Biden has these Wall Street maniacs in his cabinet. They're putting people in Congress. 
guys, wake up. Wake up. This is serious what's going on. Right now, even Fox News won't attack Joe Biden the way that they should. They attack Joe Biden for stupid stuff instead of the serious stuff like this about him being in bed with these Wall Street goons. No, they're not talking about it. They're talking about, oh, Joe Biden lets his dog. This is Fox. Joe Biden has his dog running around the White House. That's, that's the type. Because what they realized is they didn't like Obama just because he was black. But they realized now with Joe Biden, they can really do things that they've been wanting to do because Joe Biden is a Republican. Then you have Cinema, who's a Republican. And then you have Joe Manchin, who's a Republican. So you have all of these Republicans in a Democratic Party. And now they're teaming with the Republicans. And things are about to get really crazy. Because Joe, Biden, Joe Biden's been a lifelong right-wing Republican. He's been trying to cut out Medicare, Social Security, and, 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 and uh, Medicaid for 40 years. That's why he tried to put Neera Tandon. That's why he tried to put her in. Because she was advocating for cutting Medicare. And she said... She said, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with cutting with what they call entitlements. Social Security, something that you work for. That's an, she calls it entitlement. <laughs> wow. And Joe Biden, Joe Biden said in a video that I have, Joe Biden says, yeah, I tried to cut everything. I wanted to cut everything in the government. I wanted to free Social Security. And they said, Joe, you shouldn't do that. I, I wanted to, I was about balancing. That's, 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 a, that's what stuff that Republicans say. Democrats don't, they don't talk like that. But guys, this video is lo much longer than I expected. But um, but yeah, hold T Y, hold the Young Turks to the fire because as long as they keep putting up crap like this, we're gonna be you're gonna be sitting around fighting. Look, I mean, look what they're talking. They're talking about Meghan McCain. They're talking about the View. They're talking about the View while the world is blowing up. Jimmy Dore's over there fighting for uh, Jimmy Dore's over there fighting for the rights of political prisoners, and T Y T's over there talking about somebody on twitch this is insane jimmy Dore is putting his life on the line to talk for people that the united states government is is a gangst and he's fighting for these people and tyt is fighting against him this is sad this is sad but uh to all my renegades please stay up